guys, Dr. Pajo here. In this video, I'm going to talk about few cases of lung pathology and recap regarding the technique in describing gross pathology specimen. So, let's go. So, before we start, here's a recap on how to describe gross specimen with lesion. What you need to do is to describe the amount of lesion. Either the lesion is single or multiple. But if they are less than 10, it is good to give the number of the lesion. The next thing is to describe the shape of the lesion. Is it round, regular, or irregular in shape? What are the color of the lesion? The lesion can be white, whitish, whitish yellow, or gray. The border between the lesion and the surrounding tissue is called margins. The margins can be well-defined or ill-defined. They can also be infiltrative. This is when you see part of the lesion encroach into the surrounding normal tissue. It is good to include additional info. You can add in the necrosis or hemorrhages that can be seen within the lesion. Sometimes necrosis and hemorrhages is an indication that the lesion might be malignant. In this video, I will be describing the gone focus, which is the primary tuberculosis, lung adenocarcinoma, lung squamous cell carcinoma, and metastatic carcinoma. Here is a sagittally sectioned lung. There are two irregular shaped whitish lesions. They are located at the periphery of the lung and within the lung parenchyma. The cut surface show cassiating features. It is a crumbling like surface. The yellow highlights are the bronchus and the bronchioles. Again, here is a sagittally sectioned lung. There is a huge irregular shaped lesion. The lesion is located at the periphery of the lung parenchyma. The cut surface is grayish tan in color. The margins are ill-defined and in areas seen infiltrative. The yellow highlight is to demonstrate the bronchioles. This is another sagittal cut lung. This is the main bronchus and its bronchioles. There are two lesions seen arising from the bronchioles. The lesion is round to irregular in shape. They have grey, dusky, cut surface color. At the superior part of the lung, there is another irregular grey dusky lesion. There are necrosis and hemorrhages, which is black in color, seen in the lesion. At the external area of the lung, one lymph node is seen at the superior aspect of the main bronchus. This is a sagittal cut lung. There are multiple lesions of various size and shape seen in the lung parenchyma. The lesion varies from round to irregular in shape. They have grayish tan color of cut surface. Some of the lesions show infiltrative margins. Okay guys, that's the time we have now. You can reach me to my social media. The link is in the description down below. Hope to see you again. Goodbye.